Data is only useful if it can lead to meaningful action. One of the most important ways to use data is when identifying the communities, health facilities, or districts that are not performing well and then prioritizing the areas where you need to take action. So, let us talk about how to prioritize problem areas. This is the first step in determining how to improve immunization coverage. Start with your monthly immunization report. This is what you will use to identify high-risk areas or those areas where immunization performance may be weak. Look for three important pieces of data. The cumulative coverage rate for pentavalent 1 or pentavalent 3, the dropout rate between pentavalent 1 and pentavalent 3, and the number of unimmunized infants and pregnant women. Let us pause for a moment to make sure you are familiar with these important terms. The cumulative coverage rate shows the percentage of the target population that has been vaccinated with a particular vaccine dose so far this year. The dropout rate shows the percentage of infants who have received one dose of specific vaccine but who did not receive all doses in a series. For example, many countries measure the dropout rate by tracking whether infants who received the first dose of pentavalent vaccine also received the third dose of pentavalent vaccine. Or, countries may track the dropout rate between the first dose of pentavalent vaccine and a measles-containing vaccine. To find the number of unimmunized individuals, you will take the total target population and subtract the number of doses administered for a specific vaccine dose, such as pentavalent 3, or the second dose of tetanus toxoid-containing vaccine. The result is the number of infants or pregnant women who have not been immunized for that particular vaccine dose. For example, if there are 1,030 infants in the target population and 700 infants have been immunized with pentavalent 1, that means there are 330 unimmunized infants. It is going to be really helpful for you to have a chart that shows how the communities or health facilities or districts in your area are performing against these three measurements. How do you interpret all the data to identify performance problems? There are several ways to use data to identify and prioritize performance problems, and the approach you take may depend in part on the quality of your data. If you feel relatively confident about the quality of your population data, the best option is to rank health facilities or districts by the number of infants unimmunized with pentavalent 3. The health facility with the highest number of unimmunized children is ranked number 1, and so on. As part of this step, you may want to also look for areas where the coverage rate for a particular vaccine dose is less than 80%. Some areas, such as highly populated urban areas, may have a relatively high coverage rate for a particular vaccine dose but may still have a high number of unimmunized children or pregnant women. So, it is a smart idea to look at both the coverage rate and the number of unimmunized when you are trying to identify the health facilities or districts with the biggest coverage problems. If you do not feel confident about your population data, another useful way to prioritize is by dropout rates or the number of unimmunized due to dropouts, since those numbers may be more reliable. Look for areas where the dropout rate between pentavalent 1 and pentavalent 3 is 10% or higher, or the dropout rate between pentavalent 1 and measles is 10% or higher. This is a sign that children may have the initial access to vaccines, but then fail to complete the vaccination series for some reason. There may even be other ways to prioritize, for example, does the problem require urgent action? Are some solutions relatively easy and low cost? 
You may also consider prioritizing health facilities with large numbers of unimmunized infants and known management problems. Or you may prioritize health facilities that do not have enough staff or that have a high rate of health worker absenteeism. Once you have identified and prioritized the areas where you need to focus, you can ask questions to determine why vaccines are not currently accessible to target populations. You may need to visit health facilities to learn more. What are the reasons behind the current performance problems? Root causes may not always be obvious. Then, using what you have learned, you will be able to come up with corrective strategies and activities that will lead to increased immunization coverage rates.